Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to go through how you can create a navigational form or a form that opens up when you first get into an Access database. So first of all, I'm going to create a form from the Create tab at the top there, create a form in design mode, but I'm not going to attach a table to it or a query to it, so I'm not going to get the field list over there. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. All I'm going to do is use the form design area on the ribbon and the controls area to activate some command buttons which will open up or close these item items you can see down the left hand side. So this is the tool I'm going to use. Click on that, draw yourself a little rectangle and it should start the wizard. The wizard starts and it gives you some options. So you've got record navigation, record or operation, form operation, etc. etc. Miscellaneous where macros would be. Applications is about closing this down. So basically it does what it says on the tin. If you do that button and then click it, it'll close access down. I'm going to do that straight off. I'm going to go on to this one. Um, now I'll go for forms. Forms. We've got two forms, stock. Well, one form really, that's the sub form, so I'll just go for that form. So open form, next, and then make sure you pick that one, not the sub form. Next, then you come to this stage, it's asking you, do you want to show all the records? Yep. And then you've got options here to have it as a picture or with text on it. So I'm just going to leave it with text and just get rid of the word form and put stock sales that's what I want to be on the button next don't need to fill that one in finish and there's my little button save this form as main menu that's what I'm going to call it main menu okay have a look at the form there's your little button click the button and it does what it says on the tin it opens up this form now I need something on this form to either close it down or Go back to the main menu now i always tell people to tidy up and close forms down so that's what i'm going to do on this one if i go back into design for this form and get myself a little command button just stick it over there so this is form operations so form operations and we've got a close form option there so i'll go next i'll leave it on close form i'll leave that as the default text next and finish so that should close this form down. I'll save this, go and have a look, click the button, closes it down, click that button, opens it up. So that's basically all you need to do. If th There are macros that you can use to do this, but um, I'm just going to close that one down. I'm going to add a few more buttons on here, so we can open some of these reports, for example. But I need to get back into design. Into design, draw myself another command button. And this time it's going to be report operation, report operations preview. So you've got the option there to mail a report. So that'll be an email option, but I'll go for this one first preview. And then you've got a list of reports. I'll pick the first one next, call it customer sales, customer sales report. And I'm just going to go finish on that. And there you go. So I'll do another one. This one will be like email. I will email the same report. So we get that report operations, mail report, customer sales. Next, I'll leave that as mail sales. I'll put that down as and then finish. So you can see how that works. Now these two are both to do with the same report. So you could maybe highlight those and go to the arrange tab and then Click on stacked or tabular. I'll go for stacks. So it just puts them on top of each other like that. So the, this is a form. So maybe you have your form stacked and you have your report stacked. It's totally up to you. Now, if we have a look at doing one more button for a minute, let's see what happens here. Click on that. Draw another button. You've got applications. I've said what that is, but you've got miscellaneous. So miscellaneous, for example, could run table or query. Um, I'm going to get it to run that query there. So let's go query. So this is not really the output. It's just have a look at query invoice next. And then I'll just put run invoice. 
like so and then finish and we get that there now if i save this and have a quick look at those two see what happens so if customer sales that should open the report customer sales which it does close that one down this should mail a report gives me the option i'm going to go for pdf okay and then that will send that to outlook outlook just opened or it's going to open there's outlook and there's the attachment so that's great that worked close that one down let's open this one or click on this one now it's a parameter query so that's running a query so the query is looking at the invoice put my name in there then it might work and uh, 16th of 223 and it brings it back so that one works let's close that down don't need to save that so you've now created this main menu form so when you click on all these buttons um, it does what it says in the tin you can get this form to open up on startup and you can hide this be aware that people do know how to reveal this it's not set in stone unless you can lock it down completely but if I go to the file tab and go into options for this database so current database you can get it to it's got their display form and it's on none so if I go main menu like so and then click OK and it, you can before I click OK you can take there's a navigation pane you can take that off if I tick, tick that off so that should hide that now this won't take effect I'll click OK but it won't take effect until I close this database and reopen it so I'll close it and then I'll reopen it so I'll go to open this database when I open it it should just open it in form view main menu but there's no navigation pane down this left hand side however be aware that unless people have stopped you doing this with shortcut keys the f11 will reveal and does reveal or hide that navigation pane anyhow if you want to bypass startup procedures i.e that form starting up when you open it if i just close it again go to access what you have to do is hold your shift key down so i'll go open hold your shift key down and then click on the database shift key is down and it's bypassed the startup options and there is your navigational pane the form didn't open and then you can go back into options and take that off so if i go back to current database and go out put it back to none and then put the navigational tick on click OK and then again it will apply when you restart the database so if I close this down now restart the database there you go nothing's happening so that's all I want to talk about in this little session how you can create a little navigation form to move around your database and how you can set up an automatic startup you can also do macros to do most of that I'll do that on the next session but thank you for your time on this one catch you later